Tigers hit the road, they're all the way in Tuscola with the fans in tow for the season opener for 2013. It's the Jim Ned Indians versus your Jacksboro Tigers. Welcome to the Jacksboro National Bank Tiger football film, brought to you by Jacksboro National Bank at mybanktexas.com. Lockheed Oil Field Services, proud to support the Tigers. McFarland Plumbing, on the square in Jacksboro. Norville Construction, quality construction you can trust. Bailey Auto Plaza, your new car and truck dealer in Graham. And H-Brand Livestock Pet and Garden, more than just a feed store. And with that kick, your 2013 football season is underway. The Tigers flex some defense and muscle early, taking away the Indians' first possession with a fumble recovery by David Stretcher. From there, QB Kirk Weldon makes a nice completion to Chase Thompson. Unfortunately, the drive went in with a major interception that would place the ball inside the Tiger 5. From there, Jim Ned is able to draw first blood, and the Tigers are playing from behind. The Tigers are still trying to find their offensive stride and get some good action on a reception to Cooper Tisdale, followed by a sweet carry from DJ Thomas with some excellent tackle breaking. But a missed opportunity on this drive leaves some points on the field instead of on the board, and the drive stalls. The Tigers would have to kick this one away from midfield. The defense lights up to end the first quarter. And the Tigers take possession of the ball quickly in the second quarter. David Stretcher gets a few extra yards out of this return. Yeah, yeah. Baby, go score. Go score. Chase Thompson makes another nice reception in the middle of the field. And then David Stretcher gets a big catch. It ends with a little break dancing. Don't worry, nothing's broke. But still our Tigers can't convert and this drive would end with the ball turning over on downs. Luckily, Cade Rohde shows some excellent awareness, and we get the ball back right away. And that sets up the Bailey Auto Plaza built for tough play of the game. Kirk Weldon from the shotgun position makes the quick handoff to Chase Thompson, who has an escort in Jesse Hurd. Jesse makes a heck of a block, allowing Chase to head down the right side. He'd be denied his touchdown, but with the ball on the two, Kirk Weldon can punch it in for the first score of the season. The kick is high, the kick is long, and the kick is wide. The score is 6-7. to seven. The Tigers would continue with their strong defensive stops, and that score would carry into halftime. The Tigers have done a great job of containing the offense, but that one turnover deep in their own territory has really cost them. They take the field fired up and ready to go, but early in the third quarter, we turn over the ball deep in our own territory again. Jim Ned capitalizes on the mistake again, and the score jumps up to 6-14. to 14. It wouldn't be until late in the fourth quarter that we see the Tigers we've been watching in scrimmage and practice all summer. Weldon starts in his own end zone, would connect with Tisdale on three occasions down the sideline. Cooper does a great job of clock management. Since we're under a minute at this point, he keeps getting out of bounds. Then a reception to Chase Thompson would put us well into the red zone. There's only seven seconds left and it's a must score for a chance to tie. On the last play, Kirk rolls right and it's a dropped pass. Coach Hodnett would argue that there was one second left on the clock, but the refs disagree. He respects their decision, and that's all she wrote. Your final score is Jacksboro Tiger 6, Jim Ned 14. Defensively, I thought we did a great job. We, we, we did enough good things, we should have won the ball game, but when you turn it over as many times as we did, you can't expect to win, okay? Now, can we fix some of this stuff? Yeah, it's gotta be fixed in here, and it's gotta be fixed in here. We're re flat tonight. I felt like we were real flat. I don't know if we were nervous, I don't know. I, I don't know, I can't figure it out. We dropped balls, we didn't block. We we just didn't play our game. And we did not play well enough to win. So it's nobody's fault but ours. We got a lot of work to do, but it's fixable problems, so we're just gonna go fix them. And that's it for your Jacksboro National Bank Tiger football film. Brought to you by Jacksboro National Bank, Lockheed Oil Field Services, McFarland Plumbing, Norville Construction, Bailey Auto Plaza, and H-Brand Livestock Pet and Garden. Catch us next week as the Tigers play their first home game of the season where they'll face the Eastland Mavericks. Until then, on behalf of Scene Marketing, I'm Jay Hawkins saying we'll see you in the stands in Tigerland.